director of the FBI being brought in to investigate the NFL's response. Rutgers race. has suspended leading wide receiver. Two San Antonio high school football players who each blindsided a referee. Carolina being placed on probation. Hello, my name is Emmett Gill and welcome to the Two Minute Warning. When I awoke yesterday morning and received an email from Valencia Raphael, a fellow activist and colleague, that Nigel Hayes, a University of Wisconsin basketball player, and 20 of his peers on the Badger athletic teams had entered the world of activism, I was inspired. Hopefully, you are familiar with the October 29th, 2016 incident in which Badger fanatics were involved in depicting President Barack Obama with a noose around his neck at a University of Wisconsin football game. As you can tell from the photo from Camp Randall Stadium, not only was this act in plain view of black Badger football players, but it was also in plain view of our United States. Ironically, Alexander Williams Randall, for whom Camp Randall Stadium is named, focused on the moral issues of slavery in the South during his tenure as Wisconsin governor. Mariah Watts, Nigel Hayes, and some of their peers tweeted to the University of Wisconsin at Madison demanding change on how students and athletes of color are treated. In response to this despicable display on 1029, the University of Wisconsin indefinitely suspended the ticket privileges of four groups of racist fanatics. Chancellor Rebecca Blank told the UW Faculty Senate that their tickets were revoked because these so-called Americans violated stadium policies by bringing a prohibited item, a noose. Not because UW faculty, students, or athletes of color might be offended, threatened, and or traumatized by the sight of a noose. Wisconsin Athletic Director Barry Alvarez said he would review stadium policies but did not address how he would counsel the athletes exposed to the racist behavior, or how he could guarantee future Badger recruits would not face similar events. 37 of the 133 college athletes on the University of Wisconsin's football roster are black, which can be interpreted in a couple of ways. One, that 37 black UW students were traumatized by the noose in the stands and or maybe the reality that the University of Wisconsin allowed a noose in the stands is the reason that the Power Conference football team has only 37 black players. People want to believe that we live in a colorblind society and that all has been resolved because of the civil rights legislation or the election of a black president. But not all has been resolved. Not only is the display of a noose orchestrated by two bigoted fanatics problematic, but the fact that the thousands of fans in the stands who saw it had no concern for the well-being of the athletes they claim to cheer. People can say all they want about athletes acting as advocates during work hours, but where is the uproar when the racist fans threaten players while they are at work. In legalese, the University of Wisconsin is protecting the First Amendment rights of racists. But how will they protect Nigel Hayes, Derek Tindall, Christian Bell, Bradrick Shaw, Charles Thomas, and Sarah Nurse, and the other 16 or so athletes who decided to stand up and raise our consciousness about the narrative surrounding college athletes of color? This commentary can be essential in discussing the politics of college sports, the policies and legal lease of college athletics administration, including the dilemmas that assistant and associate athletic directors, as well as sports information and public relations staff face when controversy arises involving student athletes. It is essential to consider how athletic department staff charged with internal and external responsibilities deal with these moral and racial issues. 
My name is Emmett Gill. This has been the Two Minute Warning, and thank you for joining us.